Hello and howdy to everybody out in YouTube land. Welcome to my next video. I have one more guitar to show you. This is going to be my Stratocaster that I built out of a cheap Strat copy. And it's got everything, every professional part in it that you can think of. Now, I, I bought the guitar for like less than $100. And the reason why I bought it because uh, for a Strat copy, it already came with a 22 fret maple neck, which is very odd for a cheap Strat copy. And if you look at the finish, it's got a transparent paint job, and the wood almost looks like it's flamed. I don't think it's an actual flame top, but it looks really nice, and I thought that was pretty cool, pretty cool feature. Very nice finish for less than a hundred dollars. But anyway, first thing I played it maybe five ten minutes when I first got it. Couldn't stand the sound of the pickups. So immediately to start taking it all apart. And the shape, this isn't the original shape. It did. It kind of went out and had a little point down here. I rounded it off like that and sanded it all real good. Anyway. I've been I've done a lot of sanding on the fretboard because I didn't I don't like a lot of lacquer on the fretboard. And I completely sanded the back of the neck down to the wood. You see you see where where it's orange. That's what it originally this whole neck looked orange like that because it was full of that amber lacquer. And I sanded all of that off and made a real smooth, nice, unfinished but I put some lemon oil on it, rubbed the lemon oil in. It originally came with just a pair of generic tuners like this. Those had to go. I got these locking tuners. And I put those on there. And they worked really nice to keep it in tune. I actually had to uh, root out this part in here a little bit, I, actually, I didn't use a router, I used a file, did it by hand, had to get it a lot bigger because I bought this uh, solid block, I got this solid block off of uh, guitarfetish.com, it gives it a lot fuller sound other than that zinc or pewter or whatever they make those really cheap bridges out of, anyway got that in there. It actually came with this one ply thin piece of plastic that's kind of an odd color. And that was on there like that with these really cheap generic single coil pickups. Those had to go. This had to go. I got these. Seymour Duncan hot rodded humbucker set, the SH4 and the SH2, the JB and the Jazz. They look really nice with that black pearl pit guard. I got this pit guard off of Guitar Parts Online because it's the only place I could find a pit guard that didn't have the holes cut for a strat. Most of them come with the three holes here and the slot for the five position selector. But at uh, Guitar Parts Online, you can get them completely solid. That way you just do your own configuration however you want. I'll drill the hole, put this toggle switch in. And just put I bought one volume and one tone. And I uh, kept the, this is the original jack plate, but it's got a brand new input jack. This bridge plate is original to the guitar, but these are not. I got these off of Amazon.com and they're made out of tusk. It's that real slippery stuff. The white tusk. I actually got the same thing for this nut. It just looks black. It's actually a white tusk nut. Just looks really gray because I put a lot of pencil pencil lead on there to give it a lot of kind of lube it with graphite. Read that a long time ago to use a pencil lead everywhere the strings are like right in here take a pencil 
while you're putting the strings on and rub a lot of the lead off in there in those grooves where the strings are. Same thing on the nut. And that helps a lot. I'm eventually going to get some roller string trees, but those are working all right for now. But anyway, that's that guitar. And those Seymour Duncan pickups make it sound real nice. And it's got a good weight to it. Real nice heavy body for a copy. I'd say this guitar weighs anywhere from 8 to 9 pounds. Real heavy. But it sounds really good now. Actually, the this um, pit guard came already shielded with some uh, shield tape on it. I grounded everything real good. Don't have any problems with it. It's just just as good as any professional eight, seven to eight hundred dollar guitar that you would buy. I would play this at any gig, anytime. Very reliable now. Plays great. Action is excellent on it. And I've only got maybe a couple of hundred bucks in it. So anyway, that's my that's that guitar, and I'm going to be doing some videos with that so you can see how it sounds. So until next time, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.